Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little late to this one, uh, and by a little late, I mean a, a lot of late, but uh, fuck it. I've seen all the other turtle movies in theaters, so why not see this one? I even saw the third one in theaters. Yeah, I know. The third one. So this is the sequel to the rebooted Turtles movie that we got all the way back in 2014. That movie wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it uh, definitely wasn't good. It didn't hit enough of the notes that make the turtles the turtles. And you know what? I know turtles. I'm a turtle expert. So if you need to know anything about turtles, I'm your guy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Damn, I said that fast. The crack is kicking in. Uh, this new movie, the sequel, surprisingly fixes a lot of the things that uh, I and a lot of other people didn't like about the first movie. The turtles have more of their personalities that we know and love. Um, Shredder is an actual human being instead of a giant Nutribullet Transformer blender. Um, Splinter, he's way less of an asshole. We've got more characters from the Ninja Turtles universe. And uh, Johnny Knoxville is no longer the voice of Leonardo. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good list of improvements right there. That's a real good list. This movie is way more goofy than the first one and that's what I wanted. It felt less like a Michael Bay Transformers movie and more like uh, more like the Ninja fucking Turtles, dude. Bebop and Rocksteady were well done. The movie just embraced the fact that these two guys are ridiculous 1980s cartoon characters and there is no fucking way in hell they can make them realistic. So they just said, hey, we're rolling with it. Here you go. Bebop and Rocksteady. The guy from Arrow as Casey Jones, I didn't love it. They played him off as a dumbass. They gave him a couple of cool action scenes, but other than that, they just made fun of him. That's not who Casey Jones is. He's supposed to be the, uh, you know, the cool outsider, the street thug with a heart of gold and uh, some violent tendencies that mostly involve a hockey stick, not a doofy security guard. That's what he was. He was like a doofy security guard cop guy. Uh, it just didn't work. I didn't mind Stephen Emile as Casey Jones, but it was the way he was written that didn't work. And where's his long hair? Casey Jones needs his long hair, not a, not a buzz cut. Krang, he was, uh, well, he was Krang. They didn't really stray too far from the original cartoon show with him, which is a good thing. He was the crazy brain guy with a robot suit, but he didn't really seem to get a shining moment. He was just kind of there for a little while. Um, it would have been really cool to see him team up with Shredder and the Foot Clan and they're all on the Technodrone and they're kicking some ass. But maybe we will get that in the third movie. Because with the third movie, I feel like they could really embrace some Dimension X stuff and they can just go super weird with the Turtles and do a whole bunch of stuff that they wouldn't have been able to do in the original 90s live action Turtles movies. Because uh, the actors that played the Turtles in those movies, they were... Uh, they were dudes in rubber suits, and that would have just been, that would have been unrealistic. I like that they made fun of Will Arnett's character because uh, he was really fucking annoying in the first movie. Uh, there's a lot less Megan Fox, and Tyler Perry is Baxter Stockman. He was, uh, he was cheesy, but he was cheesy in a good way. When you get down to it, I, I like this movie. It was enjoyable, it was better than the first one, and it didn't make me feel like a bitter old man when I was watching it because I grew up on the Turtles, and they should be this way, and they should be like this, and blah, blah, blah. No, I just, I rolled with it, and it was a good time. So in the end, I'm giving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Cook. What did you think of the new Turtles movie? If you've seen it, tell me down below in the comments. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and um, see you. Bye.